So, I really like this title from the Suicide Boys. Not even ghosts are this empty. I don't know how relatable this is going to be, but I know the title is mad relatable because sometimes I could be in a crowd of a thousand people and still feel alone. I mean, it's not as bad as it used to be, but that, that used to be real bad for me because I felt like an outcast and I didn't really know what my place was in the world because I didn't know what my, pur what my purpose was. I had a low self-image and I just felt like I was just floating. The only time I was happy was when I was like around my family. I didn't have any talent. Um, so it took a while for me to... I don't feel like a lot of people find themselves. I mean, that's the way they word it. But I feel like we build ourselves in a, from a certain sense, if you want to look at it through that perspective. But, like, it took a while for me to be able to build myself to who I am today based off all the experiences and things I've collected with, you know, memories through life that taught me something or talents of mine that I figured out I was good at. But I'm going to give this a listen. It's number 12 trending on music on YouTube. So, And it's a pretty short song too. So we're we going to check this out. I was going to watch it anyway. So we might as well watch it together. Let's go. I got to give me something like that. Probably not as expensive. But something similar. That would be cool. I don't have any I don't have any dreads to shake. I thought about growing my hair out, but my girlfriend don't like afros or cornrows. I ain't never had no dreads or nothing like that before, but I don't know how I would look. Most people say just stick with the, you know, shaped up buzz cut, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. No shave November's coming up real quick. Based off what I've heard so far, it's basically about, you know, if I don't let my demons out to breathe, then they might consume me, maybe. Like, just now, as the, the second verse of this guy came in, I don't know their names individually, I just know them as a Suicide Boys or Squad. Well, no, that's the movie, Suicide Boys. He was talking about numbing himself by smoking and drinking. Um... I don't feel like I would have leaned toward that direction. I mean, maybe I could have, but like, I just kind of knew who I was in my character at least. Not in my self-image or my purpose, but I at least knew who I was in my character. And like, no matter how many bad females I hung out with, no matter how many fr so-called friends I hung out with, they all always tried to get me to smoke. Whether it was a weed, a Newport, a, um, a black, whatever it was, they were trying to get me to smoke something all the time, and I always turned it down, you know, if I had a billion, if I had five cents for every time somebody tried to get me to smoke something, I'd probably have four million dollars in the bank, you know, due to my old association, but, you know, I just never saw myself doing that, same as how I never saw, saw myself going to jail. And I never saw myself using this as having this as a crutch or using this as a means 
of an outlet or relieving some of the weight that might be on my shoulders because it doesn't solve my problem. It only adds to my problem. At least in my world it does. So, you know, I found a healthier outlet, which was music and sports. So, that that's what I did. Whenever I was dealing with something, I was just put it in that and whenever I was on the field or whenever I was in the booth recording a song it would take all the weight off of me and I, I would feel better I like how they're low maintenance like it ain't no big old big ass giant fancy mansion or nothing like that it's like a a two story maybe one or two story house with a few nice amenities in there. They don't, it's like they're saying they don't need that much. They even got a studio. See, that's what I need. I, they even got a little studio in there. Oh, never mind. That looks like a private neighborhood. I mean, it's still like a two, a decent sized two story, but like that's like that's like something I would get. I wouldn't need like a ten, two hundred million dollar mansion or nothing like that. You know, it's like I need some little spacious, maybe like a five bedroom house or something like that. Studio room, a room for the kids, and you know, like maybe something, whatever the wife want after that. As long as I got my studio and my workout room. Um, and maybe like a movie theater room. I'm good to go. I'm good. See, I'm not, I'm not bougie. Ain't nothing wrong with having a theater room. Did he say he had to find his faith? Yeah, he said he had to find his faith. And he did he wanted to stop feeling so lost. I really like this song. Let me see what the comments are saying. They've come so far. They've gotten me through a lot. This song has been on repeat since it came out. Um, nothing but positivity in the comments. Nobody really going into detail on the, as far as the subject goes. Just a lot of fans going like super crazy about how far they ca they've came, Whew, their evolution, how much better they've gotten, how they got them on repeat, you know, stuff like that. The cult, the cult like following that they've built, cause they've got like four million subscribers. But I've known about Suicide Boy since I was in high school, so they've definitely been grinding for a long time, and they probably have bought some well deserved things after going through whatever it is they've gone through. Maybe I'll watch an interview to. To get them to know them a little bit better. But if I were to rate this song, I'd give it an 8.7. It's a vibe. I could ride around town with my shades on going to the beach with that. I add that to my um to my think about it playlist. One of these days I ought to put together I talk about my playlist so much, I ought to put it down in the um comment section or the um or description and like let y'all give it a listen or something one day just so y'all can ha you know i know some people like having playlists sent to them so let me know what y'all think about that down in the comments 
And if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I like what I do here. I like making smiles. I like seeing this fam grow every day. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep the ball rolling. I hope y'all have a good day, and um, I'll see you later. Peace.